Good morning, I'm Clinton Griffiths. We're finally seeing some relief at the pump, but diesel continues to be another story. According to AAA, the national average cost of a gallon of gas is now $3.55, but diesel prices, they remain elevated at $5.21 a gallon. Ag Day's Michelle Rook joins us with a look at what's driving prices right now. Clinton global demand concerns have continued to press the crude oil market lower with West Texas intermediate prices hitting an 11 month low of 73.60 per barrel on Monday before rebounding. The question though is how long will these lower prices last? Market analysts say a combination of factors have pulled crude oil off highs hit earlier this year, including demand concerns tied to global recessionary fears and record COVID cases and lockdowns in China. You know, the COVID problems in, uh, in China, the 100%, you know, zero tolerance, uh, certainly weighing on crude oil. The thing is with crude oil, though, if we look at its long-term monthly chart, it's been in a downtrend since July. So, you know, all we're really doing right now is seeing an extension of that. But what's really been interesting is that we've got some commercial selling coming in. This tells us that the short-term supply and demand situation is loosening. The market is also watching as OPEC and its allies are due to make a big call on oil production this week with talk of increases as expanded sanctions are set to strike Russia's energy industry. I strongly doubt that OPEC is going to make production increases. It just doesn't seem uh, to fit the narrative, particularly with Russia still having such a strong vote in the OPEC+. Plus. The release of oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve has also eroded prices over the last few months, but one market watcher says that may be coming to an end. If we take that supply off and we are dealt with actual supply against actual demand, even with the lower demand side expectations that have been built in, we still would warrant a substantial repricing of, of crude oil prices higher to better reflect that. So Hackett thinks prices could move higher in the first quarter, especially if the administration replenishes the SPR. So he recommends end users like farmers line up some of their energy needs. Meanwhile, diesel prices have unfortunately not eased with logistics issues and competition for the home heating market. And Newsom is concerned the tight supply situation could be made even worse if there's a rail strike and the U.S. has to depend entirely on trucking for moving ag and other products.